Hello everybody and welcome back to some more of the new save file. Last time we played as a deleted, we're actually getting a really good streak going. I'm very, very happy about it. And I think... Uh, who should we play as? Du -du 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 oh, we have Samson and Eve unlocked. Let's go with Samson. Samson's always a fun one. Always a fun one. And because we got Samson, um, I can't remember what Fortitude does. Let's go and find out. Um, just some blessings is the name of the mod. Just some blessings. Let's have a little look. See, Fortitude gives way for effect the first hit each floor. It's pretty decent. Pretty decent. Okay. Um, we did get two of these, so we got battery charges and teleport into the shop. I guess I'll carry that around with us. Normally, there'd be two air water rooms, but we don't have those unlocked yet. That's something we might want to actually go and unlock soon. Um, I haven't done any challenges in a little while here, so maybe I should get back to doing those pretty shortly. But yeah, Fortitude's not super good for us. And as we're playing Samson, when was the last time you hurt yourself and what happened? Because this character's all about hurting yourself, or kind of, for damage. You get bonuses from it. Maybe in the real world, you don't get too many bonuses from hurting yourself, unless you're running some sort of insurance fraud scam. Um... But, <laughs> either way, um, like, it depends sort of in what context hurting yourself means, because recently I've been aching a buttload from um, doing a 5k run and going to the gym. That's been actual pain. Um, hello. We do not have a battery charger. Glass D20? Honestly, I'm going to keep that. That's potentially really useful. Um, we do get some damage out of going into that room. It's kind of why I did it. I was hoping we'd get, like, a black heart out of it or something. But, yeah, honestly, getting some hearts out of it is pretty good. The G Glass D20 could be pretty awesome for us here. Um, but then, like, actually hurt myself. I, I'm i honestly not 100% sure. We get the Baby Crater. Baby Crater's fine. I, I like the fact that if you spam it, he does this. Ah! Oh, my God! It's just, like, absolutely losing his shit. It's like, oh, my fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> it's hilarious. But normally, you can just do this. Gather a bunch of shots. But I really like it. Just... Ah, ah, just constant panic. It's hilarious. I don't know why I find that just so amusing, but honestly, I really do. It's honestly messing my voice a little bit, actually, that. Oh, my God. Um, Bomb through that. That's all right. I could get that key as well. Do you know what? I will. If we get petrified poop from it as well, then I'll be happy. We got a penny from it. That's good enough. Um... Yeah, I don't remember the last time I really badly hurt myself, actually. Um, I kind of told this story a while back when it happened, but the last sort of serious injury I got um, was I, I fell down the stairs um, of our apartments, but I fell down the stairs in a way that shouldn't have ever happened because the cleaner... So the way that the stairs are, they're like, they're like carpeted stairs, but then they've got like a an edge to them that isn't carpet. I don't know exactly how you describe it or like what, what exactly that's called. But anyways, it's got like an edge that isn't carpet and the cleaner had cleaned all of those little edge bits because they were pretty filthy, so fair on her. Well, she hadn't put a wet floor sign down and I didn't see that. And so I stood right on one and slipped like all the way down the stairs and really badly hurt my back. Ooh. Um, the spawn's random familiar is pretty good, but we can't afford it. Um... Yeah, I slipped, like, all the way down the stairs. It was it was pretty painful, um, and I got a pretty bad bruise in my back. And I even, like, saw the cleaner just after and was like, hey, what the fuck, you need to put some wet floor signs down. And they never have. I probably could have sued or some shit over that, or, like, I don't know, done, some, done something about it, but I don't know. She didn't seem like the sort of person that, that, could, that could do with losing her job. Um, she kind of seemed like she needed it. I'm not going to... Like, unless I was seriously injured. If I was injured to the point where I couldn't walk or, like, couldn't work or whatnot, then maybe I would have taken it a bit more seriously. But it was painful and I had a bad bruise for the next few days, but it wasn't devastating. So but that's like the last time I really badly hurt myself. The other time is when I was getting out the shower like a, a month or so ago. I like banged my toe against the um, sort of what I was I was going to step out the shower and I was sort of t I was turned around towards the wall and stepping out backwards. I don't know why. But um, as I was going to step out of the shower, um, the, the glass door uh, swung back towards me, and I caught my foot on the very edge of it. Um, hey, fish oil. 
Right, um, class D20 is not useful on this floor. We're not gonna get, any, gonna get anything else out of this floor. I could bomb my donation machine for some extra stuff, but honestly, I'm pretty happy with our progress on the donation machine thus far, and I'd rather not do that. Um, I'm gonna go straight in here again, because this doesn't, um, go against our devil deal chance as long as I don't get hit by this guy. Ignore everything I've just said now, baby. Ah, uh, so we got an unlock for it, it's fine. Three keys, it's good enough. I was hoping it'd be more, because then I could have class D20'd some of them. Um... I mean... That's not actually that bad. Grubby Penny's pretty good. I realize our health now is like really low, and on a six streak, we really don't want our health to be really low. But our damage is awesome this floor now, which I think is really good for us. Um, so I'm not that displeased. And we still got enough, enough health to survive a few hits, even if they're champions. And we are going to get more health back because this guy. Does this guy have more health drops? I can't remember. Normally, he starts with the child's heart, doesn't he? Or is that after an unlock? Maybe that's after a specific unlock. I, I'll be honest, I don't really remember. But goddamn, doesn't hurting yourself fucking suck? Like, there's some time, some context where it's just, like, the fucking worst. Why you go over there, sir? Why you go over there? Might as well blow all these up in case we had a crawl space. I'm glad crawl spaces and stuff like that aren't something that needs to be unlocked. Hey, another one of these pennies. Thank you. We'll re-up that effect. It's really good, actually, this effect. The ability to slow enemies down and stuff. It's really nice. Oh, God. Don't do it. Yeah, I knew one of you was going to do it. Luckily, you decided to blow yourself up in the, uh, the process of doing that, though. Yeah, getting up to eight damage on the second floor. I know it's obviously temporary, but still really, really nice. Really, really nice indeed. And take you out. I don't know why there's some spare heads here. Maybe those guys can throw additional heads if they're lying around. I'm guessing that's the case. But yeah, I, I think uh, opportunity to use the Glass D20 will present itself to us at some point. If we really wanted to, we could bomb the donation machine. And if we didn't want the money, we could uh, re-roll everything from that. But I don't know about that. Oh, for God's sake, that's not the enemy I thought it was. I thought that was the, um, the one that did the try shot. Large Zit is fine. We have so many keys, we might as well check this out. Blue map would be really nice here, and we are able to get it. Thank you very much. Lovely. We've not got a ton of bombs to work with here, but still, I'm happy with that. Um, What's this? The red chain. The red chain. Plus three keys for every 33% chance to spawn a red pillow into a new room. Ooh, this is a really fun item. I'm hoping we get the ability. In fact... I might buy my donation machine just to get the ability to buy that. That is a really, really, really fun item. Um, that yeah, I, I really love. So I wanna, I wanna play around with that. We'll see if we need to bomb it first, though, because oh, we probably are gonna have to bomb it. Unfortunately, let's do our boss first and see where that gets us. It is the horn. We did get some health as well, so we're not going to die. The large zit is actually better than quality one, I think. Leaving the slowing creep and all that good jazz, it's quite nice. Also, yeah, picking up all these pennies and getting these spiders from the grubby, um, the grubby trinket, whatever it's called. Good stuff. We did get some good stuff here, but yeah, we are going to have to bomb it to get it, I think. And I will do that. I, I, I would rather not, because it means we can't donate for the rest of the run, and it takes that money out of our donation machine. But... Honestly, I think it's worth it. So let's take some money here. We'll have some leftover for later as well. And yeah, yeah, let's just read through this again. So it's plus three keys, roughly a 33% chance to spawn a red pill on entering a room. Red pillars can be unlocked to spawn a portal to a random red room connected to the map. That's a lot of fun. That is a lot of fun, honestly. Um... And I think we'll skedaddle skadoodle on this one. Yeah, this this should this should be a lot of fun for this room. One sec. Okay, let's carry on. But yeah, having a blue map here going to be really good for us too. I'm just hoping we can get a really good glass D20 to proc and do something really crazy with it.
Another blessing. Blessing of friendship is a mini Isaac at the end of every room, if I remember correctly. Oh, God. I'm so used to having such high damage. My damage is gone. It doesn't feel right. Super soft. Ow. Good hit, my good sir. And then here we get... Gain the effects of Kapala for the current room. I don't know what Kapala does. I'll be honest, I really don't know what Kapala does at all, so... I'm not going to gamble on that. Maybe I should, but I'm scared. I'll be honest, I'm quite scared of that. Our crater, baby. He's he's doing stuff. Oh, god damn it. Don't lose my angel deal chance again, or devil deal chance, should I say. That would be no bueno for us. Is there anywhere to get those over there? I don't think there is, is there? Oh, we are going to get so many mini Isaacs going here. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, look at this large zit helping us out here. Ooh. Now, this guy could be problematic. He gets kind of crazy if you get close to him. And this guy... Oh, there you go. There's, there's this guy going crazy. Luckily, they don't bounce in a particular direction, so they're a bit aimless. So it wasn't that bad. Oh, for, as if that bomb hit me. Damn it. <laughs> I did not think that was going to hit me. I thought I was decently far away from that thing, but I guess not. Stop lobbing dips. I could try and use this guy to get into the secret room, if I'm lucky. Damn it. Let's hold off on him a little bit more, Mini Isaacs. Damn it. There we go. Get that freebie going, why not? I'm not going to take that copper bomb. Copper bombs just annoy me. Now that was beautiful. Sadly, we still have yet to, um... Yet to get a, a red pillar, which is a little bit of a shame. Um... Yes, we'll take that. I don't know if that'll work with the pillar, but even if it doesn't, it now means that all of our keys are exclusively used for pillars. Which I like the idea of. Also, we've got the sprinkler, which is decent. It's not amazing. Okay, lovely. Managed to beat those guys to it. But, okay. We'll never know what that does. Get the sprinkler out. we got double items. we got the pet rock. And we got the Mum's Ring Trinket. Awesome. For the next 10 seconds, spinning coins. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. We've had that previously. Let's clear this out first. I wonder if D20 works on this, actually. It's a bit of a risk. We're probably better off just grabbing the money, to be honest. I'll be careful because these pennies can blow up and they will. Nice. Not too bad. Not too bad of a haul there. I could have maybe re-rolled those, but I honestly don't know. Um, we've got bombs now is what we need. Spawn an unprimed gigabomb. We can use that for the boss. I wouldn't mind gigabombing you. Do not jump. Thank you. That would have devastated me if he jumped away from that then. Toy drum pretty lovely. And I think away we go, right? Sadly, we didn't get a single one of our um, red room pillars here. Which is surprising. It's a 33% chance. That's pretty high. To not get it on a single rune. So I'm hoping it's working correctly. There is a crane game in there. Interesting to see that crane games don't get replaced by anything. If they're, like, manually placed into a room, even if you don't have them unlocked. Intriguing to see, indeed. Toy drum's gonna help us out every other shot. Probably third or fourth shot, I guess. No, I'm gonna pop that down there, because there's a lot of big enemies in here. Or healthy enemies, should I say. These poops look normal and tiny, but they're, they're pretty, pretty strong fellas.
a half soul heart back there and a few bombs back there. I can get the few bombs, but the half soul heart's probably not worth. Extra key. I'm really hoping this this uh, red item thing works because it so far does not seem to be doing much for us, which is going to be a real shame if it's the case that it, it doesn't work. It's a really cool item. Pretty interesting room design here, actually. Definitely could cause some issues. How is the room not over yet? There you are. Wait, what? How many of these guys were they in the room? I thought it was only two. That was confusing. Okay, take out these guys first. We could try and use the explosion to get a free secret room, but we just about missed it. And beautiful. Come on, game. Just give me one. Give me one of those sweet owl, sweet, sweet red rooms. Also, I wonder if we're going to get any devil deals here. Is the coupon unlocked by default? I don't think it is, is it? Oh my god. I'm getting hit by some stupid shit, I'll be honest. Some shit I really shouldn't be getting hit by whatsoever. Honestly, these enemies are nightmare fuel. They just... In a room like this where they basically got free rain across the room, and it's very hard to catch up with them, they're just going to keep spawning dips, and I, I can't keep up. Like, look at this dude. He's just running trains around the room. Calm yourself, my guy. Calm, I don't, that's not why I said goy there. Calm yourself, my goy. Dun, 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 dun. Aha. Okay, please don't lose that devil deal here. We've got a potential tinted rock uh, soul heart right here, so. Hey, there you go. We saved ourselves somewhat. Let's let, 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 let's let these guys pop open here. Okay, that was not something we should have done. Holy, it's a lot of money. We should really find our shop here, because a lot of reason to use it. Damn, we may, maybe we should have um, d 20 that there. I, 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 have to, I have to believe at this point that the... Uh, the red keychain thing just isn't working. Maybe it doesn't work with pay to play, potentially. Because it's like doesn't because it doesn't spawn key locks. I don't I don't know. That'd seem weird to me. If they hadn't thought about that. Oh hello, that's that's who's left. Just a tiny little hand. This is a pretty good item if I remember correctly. Yes. Movement speed applied as a damage multiplier. You can get some crazy good damage with this. Especially because it's going to apply to Sprinkler. We basically just have to keep moving at all times. And we'll get a lot higher damage. It's a very, very good item. It's not like it can go below as well when we're not moving. The thing is as well, in this game I find that you pretty much move all the time when you're shooting anyways. I might have to like, like console command remove pay to play from my inventory just to see if that's the cause. Oh for fuck, those little shits. Because I feel like it is. Oh, what the hell? How did he do that? I, like, paved over this pit somehow. What what happened there? I honestly have no idea what caused that, but I, I somehow managed to pave over that pit. I am confused by how that happened. Truly. Just one of those freak things, I guess. And here, nothing really. Still not enough to use my glass D20 on. It's going to be really underwhelming now that we've held it for this long, isn't it? The eraser's pretty good. You only get one use per floor, though, so on Fiend Folio. It isn't quite as good. Thank you. No more donation machine this run, fortunately. It would be quite nice to donate some of this 
chunk of change we got burning a hole in our back pocket, but unfortunately shall not be. There you go. Lovely. Cracker Jack's pretty good here. Honestly, this gives us tears up now, so let's take it. I forgot the uh, buffed Ouija board to make it actually pretty good. I don't know. People wouldn't be too mad if I got rid of pay-to-play, would they? This is a run that I'm trying to be very legit on, but I also just want to see what's causing this item not to work. And I feel like it might be pay-to-play. It doesn't change too much, to be honest. In fact, it kind of neuters us slightly. Because we still have 20 keys, so it doesn't change much in the amount of locks we can open. I'm just curious to see if it's causing an issue, or if the item is just bugged, unfortunately. Which would really be a shame, but also kind of a good thing that we know about, because then we can go to the devs and be like, hey, this item doesn't work. Which I think they'd prefer. It's difficult to decipher if it's because of my game that it's not working, or if it just doesn't work in general. Right, puzzle piece. Your favourite food. Hopefully we get a few more of those along the way. We have finally spent some health as well. We got a devil deal, but I don't want to wait for the angel. Ooh, that was nice. That was useful. Good. Du, 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 du. Why did anyone ever design those blue blocks? It's just evil. Oh my god, Dry Baby's going off on one right now. What the hell is this? He is really turning it up one. Pet Rock's doing a good job too, as he is, as he always does. Damn. Interesting secret room there, but not the one that we're looking for. There you go. Ooh, extra soul heart too. Perfection itself. But yeah, I think we've been going at a decent rate of unlocking stuff on the new save file so far. Um, I think I think we're getting a good amount of stuff done. We're winning most of our runs right now. Obviously, the runs are a bit easier when you've got... Oh, there's a pillar. We finally got one. I, I think it might have been pay to play, you know. Either that or we have just been getting astronomically unlucky. But this is one of the pillars that we've been looking for. It takes us to a random rev room. I'm going to I'm gonna leave pay to play off. I realise that some of you might consider that cheating, but I honestly think that removing it um, takes away benefits rather than adds benefits, so I don't think it's a big deal. Or I don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah, maybe... I, 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 there's, there's a few things going on. Either we got astronomically unlucky, or... Um, this is a really hard room, by the way. Like a really hard room. Oh my goodness, this is a very, very hard room. Nothing's dying. Fucking, can things please die? Dude, this jumping little fuck, get out of here. You sausage. Oh my goodness, I took so much damage there. That was unbelievable. I'm offended by how much damage I just took there. Wow. Ow. I thought for some reason the tears would disappear at the end of that room. They did not. I think that, that, that maybe it's just lying about how common they are. 33% does not seem correct, because I am not getting that many at all. It's more like maybe 5% so far? Maybe less?
we've cleared out a lot of rooms with this item. Like I said, pay to play could have been the cause. I kind of feel like maybe it wasn't and I was just getting really unlucky. Or like I said, the the statistics in, in terms of how many of these we should be seeing is just incorrect. Probably more plausible. Double black hearts, lovely. I see you, Dominic. I'm able to spot you pretty easily now. Pick you out of a lineup pretty easily. God damn, this item that gives you a damage multiplier based on your current speed is ludicrously good. Like, it is. It, there's no reason for it to be as strong as it is. Ooh, hello. Chest, oh my god, dude. The, the the fucking run that I get rid of my donation machine, the game is just throwing fistfuls of money at me. It's obscene. I guess I just buy it all. Why not with the nightlight? Why not? We got luncheon boy. Don't find this guy too bad at all. Especially when we got that going on. The eggs don't mean anything really, do they? They just kind of shoot after to kill them. We do three waves of this, I think. Yeah, there you go. He's dead. The eggs will crumble. Get a soul heart at the start of every floor. Awesome. Good stuff. We got it going on, baby. We got it going on. We got something going on. Well, work's been getting a bit stressful at the minute as well. I'm not going to go into too many details, but we're doing some... Uh, I was saying about doing wedding stuff before. Now we're on to some rally racing stuff, which is a pretty big change of, uh, change of direction, but that's where we've been going. Been, uh, it's been a lot of fun, but goddamn, means that we've been busy as hell. We hired a new person as well, which um, I sort of been helping to onboard. Honestly, it's been kind of nice because I really like the guy. <coughs> One second, had to just cough there. But yeah, honestly, I really like the guy, so um, it's been nice to work with him. But it is just obviously a bit stressful bringing a new person in, trying to teach them the the ways. This is more like it for the, the red rooms. This is more like it. Hey, we found our ultra secret room. Fettered heart. Fet, yes. Fet, yes. Fettered heart, basically, if an enemy has that chain symbol on them, whenever you hit them, it deals a bit of damage to every enemy in the room. It's pretty strong. Uh, Bethany's Heart. Spawns a throwable familiar, stores soul hearts and black hearts to use as charges for the active item. Maximum six charges. Um, control to supply the charges. Press control to supply the charges to the active item. Seems kind of interesting. I don't know why it's a throwable familiar. Like, is there a reason it's throwable? Kind of strange. I guess I'll accept. This is a potentially glass D20 sort of room. Actually, I, I know I know a better room. Ow. I know a better room. I think anyone that spotted it also knows what I'm talking about here. Good, good. Oh, fuck. I didn't expect there to be wizards after this. After my ordeal. Right. Do these extra rooms here real quick. Oh, fuck. This type of mum's hand in this room. Pretty cheeky. That one's got a lot to it. 
Some mega grimaces here. All right, let's go back real quick. Right, let's play this bad boy out. We got uh, something different. Bucket of Blood. Rerolls all HP into assortment of Red Soul and Black Hearts. Yes, why not? That's pretty good. I like that. And then, yeah, Glass D20, all of these. We get a puzzle piece, which gives us all Play-Doh cookie. Fantastic item. It was all worth it. All the waiting, all the playing around. To get Play-Doh cookie, I will say with 100% certainty that that was worthwhile. And we get Midas Touch from this guy as well. Boy, I like that quite a lot. I like the fact that some mods do that, where they add new items to pools that otherwise only had one or two items in them. Like, you get IV bag or you get blood bag, but now you can also get bucket of blood, and I like that a lot. Bucket of blood seems like a really genuinely very good item too. It seems like it's, it's always going to be positive, it just depends how positive it's going to be. Yeah, you, just, you never know quite what your distribution's going to be, but it's always going to be somewhat positive, and I like that. I want to be clearing, like, every room at the minute. I know I'm missing out on potential boss rushes and stuff. Well, I say, I say potential. 26 minutes, there ain't no way. Um, but, of course, I want to see if I get more red rooms going. That is our first ultra-secret room of the save file, and it excites me. I like that quite a bit. What you got for us here? That's pretty good for us, thank you. And then another one room down here. There's one, look, see? Normally wouldn't have gone into this room, but this time around, well worth. Well worth. And here is the boss himself. Hey, and there's another one. Unfortunately, one problem with these is I'm going to go through. And yeah, it's going to send me absolutely miles away from the boss room that I was right next to. Which isn't particularly good. But there's some really good potential stuff you can get out of going to red rooms. Even though I've already seen the ultra secret room. There's some cool stuff. And I'm expecting it wouldn't be able to send me to an error room accidentally. Up, up, up. Right, let's get one of them down. Play-Doh cookie. I love you so much. You're a fantastic item. I love you so dearly, Play-Doh cookie. One of my favourite items in the game. That and fruitcake. They stand tall, in my opinion. They stand tall. Consolation prize. A little bit of speed. It's kind of good. Goat head is probably pretty decent here. We'll take it. Two more guaranteed devil deals seems good to me. Not a lot, but it's something. We can also do this, by the way, um, to fight these angels. Not that we need to right now, but I thought I'd demonstrate it. Because uh, basically, if we ever want to go to Mega Satan um, on the other floor, we have to take this key rather than the other key. So we've got to plan things out depending on what path we're taking. Which actually makes sense as to why I tried to go... Ooh... Ooh, I just had a thought. So, hmm. Basically, the other day, I tried to go and fight Mega Satan, and I, I thought I didn't have him unlocked, and I still might not have done. It still might have been the case that I didn't have Mega Satan unlocked. I'm not sure if that's the thing you have to unlock or not. But I wasn't able, like, the door didn't spawn, but I wouldn't have been able to get into it anyways because I had the wrong key. Maybe someone need the mod creator needs to do something about uh, sacrifice rooms to make that more there because it makes no sense that a sacrifice room sends you to the dark room but only gives you the ability to get the wrong key hmm one second okay i've sent a message to the developer i'll keep that tab open on discord just so i remember check back in on that um yeah because he might want to either make it so that you can get the other key type or something from from the sacrifice rooms because right now it doesn't sacrifice rooms don't make a whole lot of sense anymore 
They could be a bit funky. And I haven't really picked up on that. But it's a cool mod, though. I like the idea of it. My tears are so small now, I keep forgetting that, um... Unfortunately, trading away all my HP at a blood donation machine gives me a fuckload of damage, but that doesn't carry over floor to floor. One cool thing about this as well is you can potentially use it to just shortcut your way through floors. This is an XL floor as well, actually. Ow, what the hell? I didn't realize those teethy things could hit me. Unfortunately, this didn't shortcut us the way through the floor. It was actually sort of an anti-shortcut. kind of tough. We got through it, but it's kind of rough, yeah. Need to make sure we don't take too much damage here, because we are on the wound. And saying that, I stood in a place where I basically could only ever possibly take damage. Somehow took more damage again there. I don't know what exactly happened there. Okay, we've, we've teleported somewhere good this time. Okay, let's try and be a little bit safer now, shall we? A smidgen safer. I think the pennies is good because we do get spiders for those. I quite like all the additional spiders that we get here and there. This should hopefully be the right way. Or at least the right way adjacent. Aha! I got you right through your spinny attack. Your spinny bullshit isn't going to put me off. No, 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 sir. Oh, fuck. I didn't realize that thing could still fire. Lots of D8s. Mm, that ain't for me. Right, come on. Please, please, please say the weather. Head in the right direction here. Otherwise, it's going to be all have been for nothing. And it's very much looking like that's the case so far, doesn't it? It's very much looking like the wrong way so far. We can deal with the, the, the shooter pooter. You're not a problem. Glass D6, however. Now that's a glass thing I can get behind. Good old baby plum. Well, maybe we should have um, let baby plum go there. Rather than killing her. Because I would have got an achievement for that and an unlock. The plum flute. The sweet plum flute. Would have been rather nice to toot the plum flute. Oh god, this room's gonna be horrible, isn't it? Kill the tree with bombs. Okay, we did that nice. Oh god. I'm taking a shortcut through here, regardless if it costs me an extra bomb. Or two. I'm shortcutting. This room's going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? Yep, you're just going to keep popping up your head. It should be 50-50. It shouldn't be that they can just pop up their head all, all the time. It should be head, then tail, head, then tail, head, then tail, always. Oh, God. This is a bit cruel. It teleported me directly into the fucking cash room. It's not what I asked for. At least use the iframes to get some extra keys. Not that that was very useful for us, but I did it anyways. I'm like, why am I so slow? Pet Rock's just dragging me along there. Okay. Okay, this has been a weird flaw so far. The, the excelness of it has, has really been a little bit rough. Oh, really? There's another pillar over there that we can't get to. Hey, we finally found the boss rooms. 
It took us some sweet, sweet time, but we finally got here. And we got Mr. Fred as well. A welcome boss. Very fun fellow with very new attacks. Anyone with new attacks I can get behind. I wish these tears would disappear though, because I'm a little bit stuck where I am right now. Tom Furter was definitely taking. No need for the glass D6 there. And we do have a guaranteed chance for a devil deal here, so I didn't even think about how powerful Goathead would be to get us to the next floor. Lovely. Don't know if slowing down tears here is a positive or a negative with a nightlight. Especially when some of them are slowed and some of them aren't. I'm sure we're going to get hit because of that. Yep, I went the wrong way anyways, but there you go. Right. We at least get to go in here and go down another floor. Get some additional stuff going on. A feet is in a jar. Nice. One more mum's heart kill. It's a shame there isn't a way for us to somehow kill her again in one run. Now that would be useful. Popper bombs. I've never noticed the noise it makes when you pick up a copper bomb. It's quite nice. It's quite a nice sound. Okay. There's going to be some confusion on these floors on where the hell we're going, I'm sure. Those enemies are so cool. I'm hoping we get just a mass teleport to the other side of somewhere. Bye! Hey, we found the ultra secret room. Nice. We Oh, we got a... We got a shot another red pillar in our red room. I didn't know that could happen. Interesting. Oh! Not only did we get magic mush, but look at this majestical beast. Look at this majestical man. Wow. That is that is fantastic. But yeah, that's a lot of extra damage there for us. There's a lot of extra damage there for us. Oh god, he can make them invisible. That little latchling, whatever you want to call it. That's pretty cool. Right. I'm guessing we're going this way. Oh, the room's not over. I'm guessing we're going this way. Just because that's where the uh, second secret room is. Normally the boss is right next to the second secret room. Not all the time, but like a good like 80% of the time. That's, that's correct, so... By the way, if you're wondering how the... The speed multiplier thing works with spiders. Spiders um, created are based on your damage at the time of creating them. So if we're moving up full speed into a coin and it creates a spider, that spider will deal whatever damage we were on at that time. It's really, really, really good for that. Damn it, copper bomb. Puzzle pieces, your favorite food. We'll protect. We'll protect what? I'm never going to find out. Oh, what the fuck? That guy kind of bounced backwards there. <gasps> Another red pillar. I don't really want to take it because the boss is right here, to be honest. Oh, we got champion. This guy splits into three. It's not actually that big of a deal. Especially when you get a bomb on them, but it's still a bit scary to see. Hey, we are killing it right now. Samson has beefy damage. Right, we are good to go. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. A very fun one. Blood rights has been unlocked. Love that. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.